I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series of Displaying Data. In this video, we will try to understand how to display group data given in decimal values in the form of stem and leaf plots. The question here is, length in centimeters of 12 pencil crayons is as follows, 17.2, 16.4 and so on. You need to do these two things. A draw a stem leaf plot to show this data and b is what is the median mode and range of pencil length so whenever you want to plot stem and leaf plots the idea is to isolate the last digit and put it in the leaf part right so that's the whole thing so we'll do it in two steps in first step we'll arrange the data as given right so so group data as given. So the arrangement will be done so that we could have one digit in the leaf place and the rest for the stem, right? So, so we have stem part and the leaf part. Leaf is the one, one digit, right? The last digit. So 17.2, 17 will come here and then two will go to the leaf part, right? So what we are actually doing here is we are trying to place all these values in the order given. Second is 16.4, so I'm placing 16 here and four in the leaf part. Then we have 18, so 18.6, 18 so that is how we are going to place it. Then we got 17.4. We already had 17 here, we got 2, we'll place 4 in the same row. 17.5, 5 goes there, that becomes 17.5. Then we have 19.0, 19 is the new group. So in this group, we'll place 0. 17.4 is already there, we'll put one more. So if there is already a value given, you have to place another one. This represents the next data with the same value. 16.8, so there it goes, 19.0, another 19.0, 17.8, there it goes, 18.8, right there, 18.7. So we got this group data in the form of stem and leaf. And now finally, what we should do it, we should arrange the data in numerical order, right? So now we'll arrange this in numerical order. So that is going to be our final result, right? So this is our rough sketch. So finally, we get our stem and leaf plot. Now some of you, while placing this, you could have written 16 first and 17 later. However, when I say arrange them as given in the group, we try to go as per each data element. You understand? Now, we see that the order, numerical order 16 comes before. So we'll take up this group with 16. And in 16, we have two elements, 4 and 8. So we'll put those 4 and 8 in order. Now comes 17. In 17, we have 2, 4, 5, 4, 8. In numerical order, it'll be 2, 4, 4, 5, and then 8, right? Then is 18, right? So for 18, 6, 7, and 8, 6, 7, 8. And for 19, we have two data elements, 19, 0, 19, 0. So that becomes our final answer of part A, right? So this is, this is what we are supposed to do in part A. So when you have to draw a stem leaf plot to show this data, that is how you do. However, it is still not complete. Most important here is also to remember that it has a key. You have to describe what this represents, right? So the key here is what? So if I'm writing 16, 4, what does it mean? So 16, 4 means 16.4. This is key to it, right? So that is how you can read the data. So if you do not include key, then you are actually not representing the data given in the question. 
So it is an important part which sometimes is forgotten. So that will be a huge mistake, right? So I hope that part is absolutely clear, right? So that answers your first question, which is draw stem and leaf plot to show this data. Now let's try to answer part B, which is we need to find what is the median mode and range of the given pencil lens, right? So uh, median is the middle value. So let's answer here part B. So we are looking now into median. Since there are 12 pencil crayons, we will add 1 to 12 and then divide by 2. So we get 6.5, right? So 6.5 is the position. So in this particular, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 0.5 means what comes in between 6 and 7, right? So after that, correct? So it is actually the element between 6 and 7, right? So in this case, what really happens is we have even numbers. So there are two numbers in the middle, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically what we see here is there are two elements which are kind of in the middle. We are looking for something in between these two, right? So we are looking for something 6.5 means after 6th position and before 7th position. So to get the value, we'll add them and divide by 2. So we have this position, right? So the values are 17.5 plus 17.8 and then we are going to divide this by two. You get the idea, right? So, so that is how we are going to do it. Now, in this case, when you do it, it's uh, uh, 17 plus 17 divided by two will definitely give us 17. So we do get 17 here, but in the decimal place, five plus eight is 13, right? So 13 divided by two will be 6.5. So here we get 6.5, that means 65. That becomes your median for this particular case. So the middle value, right? So sometimes when the calculator is allowed, you can always add, right, 17.5 uh, and 17.8, and then divide by two to get your answer, which will be 17.65. Otherwise, easy ways, just add them and then do. Now, since the 17 was common, so we just wrote 17 and we worked on the decimal place slightly faster. Okay, let's look into the mode now. So in this case, how many values are repeating in the leaf? That is what you need to see. So in any row, we have these two fours repeating, right? And here we have two zeros repeating. That means we have two modes in this case. So one of the mode here is 17.4. The other mode here is 19.0. So it has two mode in the given data. Perfect. The last thing here we need to find is the range. Range is the largest value minus smallest, right? So in this case, it is 19.0, which is the largest value. And the smallest value is 16.4. So when you take the difference, borrowing one will give us 10 take away four, which is 0.6. Eight take away six is two. So the range here is 2.6 and the units here will be in centimeters, right? So these are all in centimeters. So we get median of 17.65 centimeters, mode of 19 centimeters, and range of 2.6 centimeters. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.